So I just want to do a quick review of this Orphan Espresso HLE 2T or IIT, I'm not sure, Black Classic Taper Espresso Tamper. Uh, so like I said, it's the classic taper in this short design. It has a stainless steel base and uh, it's a really interesting tamper for a number of reasons. First of all, it's sold by Orphan Espresso, who's uh, really popular with the enthusiast community. Uh, particularly if you're into Olympia Cremina's or other lever espresso machines. Second of all, it's only $32. So $32 for a precision stainless steel tamper is a really good price. Uh, you can get it cheaper on Amazon and some other things like that. But if you want something uh, you know from a seller you know and trust and uh, under $50 or even under $100, it can be difficult. So I went ahead and picked the, one of these up from my Olympia, Olympia Cremina. And here it is. It's a two and a half inches tall, so it's actually definitely on the short side. I was surprised, like I knew it was short, uh, but actually getting it in my hands and seeing two and a half inches is uh, really tiny. Each one of these marks is a half inch. So you see one inch, two inches, two and a half inches. Obviously if you put it like that, it'll be exact. Uh, the base is a stainless steel, flat. It's not available as a uh, concave or convex or anything like that and it's not available with any sort of textures on the bottom. Only available in stainless steel. And the sizes they sell it in, that's the outer, di diam uh, outer diameter sizes, are 43.5, 45. I bought it in the 49.4, which is size for Cremina, and uh, 51, 54, 58. So pretty standard sizes. And here's a standard Olympia Cremina 67 basket and the standard portafilter. And you can see, or maybe you can't see, but the, so here it is as just for as matching goes, spot on, beautiful match there. It's a black thermoplastic with the black thermoplastic. And now let's look into that basket and get an assessment for a fit. This is the 49.4. I could tell you is a spot on fit for that Camina. 49.4 is absolutely the perfect size. There's maybe a fraction of a millimeter at the top of the basket. And by the time you get to your, uh, you know, mid, you know, most of the way down, I'm mean, sorry, most of the way up, maybe uh, you're at the 66% mark there. That's about where you'd be starting to get some pressure if you put a 15 gram pour in there or 15 gram dose in there. Uh, it's almost perfect. And then by the time you get to the bottom, I don't even think you could hit the bottom, which uh, it's not an issue, but just as a testament to how good of a fit this is, it really is spot on for that Cremina basket, which means it should be spot on for other baskets from similar lever machines, depending on what you're using. Uh, so I really do like the fit. That's the main reason I bought this and it was a big upgrade for me. Uh, the handle is comfortable, but a little short. I think the nice thing about a short handle like this is it's gonna prevent me and so far has present, prevented me from putting too much pressure on it. With that, so short, it's really hard to put a lot of pressure on it. And I tend to over tamp, uh, which is definitely not the right move with a lever machine. So uh, I think that while there is an adjustment period for me, this is definitely gonna be the right idea or the right thing to do. Uh, lastly, I wanted to just check out the size and see how close to the 49.4 they are. So we'll zero this out. I think that's pretty good. And I'm at uh, 49.42, so really nice. Do a little. If I tighten it down, maybe a little tighter than I would normally say. We're at 49.36. So I think that's pretty spot on. And it didn't move at all when I spun it, so very circular. That's nice, so accurate. Good accuracy and good precision there. Bottom is, it's hard to tell us, but it seems super flat. Definitely the machining is really well done. And uh, no imperfections at all that I could see. 
it's just it feels really nice uh, so super happy with this for $32 I'm definitely I've had it for a few days and I'm, I've been working through the adjustment period and that all has to do with the smaller size which is preventing me from over tamping which again is a good thing but I got into a habit and now I need to break that habit so yeah it's the orphan espresso HLE IIT and I'll link to it in the notes below really liking this so far and I bought this instead of a much more expensive tamper from like Reg Barber or some of those companies. So I'm really happy with it because it saved me, you know, at least 50 or 60 bucks over a more expensive tamper. And I think it's higher quality than a comparable Amazon tamper, but I'll try to check that out in future videos. Thanks for watching.